Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Panikkar. I founded Amrita Homeopathy in 1997. We are placed in two locations, Koramangala and Marathali. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, pediatrics, allergies and infertility. Homogeneous SLE, Systemic Lupus Erythematosus. When it is associated along with other connective tissue disorders, then usually it is called as mixed connective tissue disorder. Here there is a combination of problems which presents usually in the form of systemic sclerosis as a first symptom or it can be polyarthralgia that is joints getting painful and symptoms may be similar to rheumatoid arthritis. So very often patients may think that it is a joint problem, it is an arthritis, some of the doctors also may think it might be an arthritis in the initial stages. But when you do a test, you do the serum ANA test, it comes out to be positive and certain other tests which is done in cases of other connective tissue disorders like systemic sclerosis and uh, for polyarthritis suppose you check for RA and you check for um, polymyositis all these things turn out to be positive then it is called as mixed connective tissue disorder. So here the homeopathic management of this is a constitutional approach. Constitutional approach in the sense it is a group of medicine which is used to correct the entire biochemical functions of the body. Here what is happening in these uh, kind of autoimmune problems? Our own immune system is doing damage to our own body. The connective tissues are getting affected by our own immune system. So the problem is the immune system memory. Your immune system is not able to identify that this is your own body. Probably it is not able to recognize this is a bacteria, this is virus, this is your own body. That recognition is somewhere going wrong. So that correction is what we have to bring about. And that homeopathic medicines, when it corrects the biochemical function and rectifies the body's memory to identify itself, the immune system, which is the new immune cells which are produced, will be produced healthier which can thus identify and protect the body rather than harming it. So it is not something like as easy as I say, it is very difficult to deal with these conditions. So when we treat these conditions, we usually have to have a holistic approach to this problem. Most of the cases will have some kind of a stress in the background. I have often seen that patients with these kind of problems usually have extremely stressful situations in their life, like a breakup in a relationship, financial stress, job related stress or something like that and when that happens we have to identify what it is and how is the mind becoming connected with this body and this relationship is to be established to identify the right kind of remedies and then treat it. The allopathic science has a different method of treatment where they deal with painkillers which will give relief or steroids which will hold back the situation but once the medicine's effect is over the problem again relapses. So the corrective action would be to see that the body produces healthy immune cells which will no longer attack your own body. So those type of cells will start getting produced when you start homeopathic medicines. So severity of the symptoms will start reducing. Like for example, I had a patient. She had a polyarthritis and she had also symptoms of systemic sclerosis. So when we started medicines for her, it gradually started reducing in terms of the pains. Then she found that the stiffness in the joints started reducing. She also was getting Raynaud's phenomenon like symptoms where there is blueness of the fingers and there is pain where the blood vessels get constricted from slight cold and the fingertips were becoming very painful. So we started the medicines and in about six months we found that her symptoms started to improve.